One of the more convenient things we can do while working with Docker containers is to actually be able to mount our local or host file system for accessibility inside of the container. This is a relatively normal operation that some people have trouble with early on. So I'm making a directory called temp, and I'm changing directory into it. So it's, it's fresh, new, nothing in it, so I'm going to create a file. There it is. So if I go ahead and run a Docker container instance, interactive TTY or terminal flags, and I go ahead and say I want to instance a Debian container off of the base image, and I'm going to run bash so I have a shell, specifically born again shell, inside of it. You'll see it kicks off. I'm logged in as root at my container ID. Here's a listing of my file system. I'm in the root path or slash, and who am I? does put out the fact that I am root. So, normally in the bash world, we might use something like a dot to represent current working directory. So if I say cat sum.txt, it is blank, but you can also see the same thing from dot slash sum.txt. You can see auto completion with tab does continue. That doesn't mean it will resolve correctly with Docker though. And if you're using Docker compose, a compose config will allow you to use a path relative to that compose file. Uh, but Docker itself does not actually support path relative currently. So if I want to do the same command, docker run it-v for volume mounting, and instead of a dot, I'm going to use a trick with dollar parentheses pwd. And what this is is going to interpret a string of computing the path to the working directory. And I'm going to put that in, say, slash src. And I'm going to do the same thing as before, specify my base image, and my command I'm going to run. So here I am again, root to my new container ID. You can see source is actually a directory. And now if I do a list of slash source, you can see I have some.txt.